Oh, hi, it may jazz your number one sellout. <laughs> What up? Welcome to another video. Here's what's going on this video. I effed it up. So this was supposed to be a Razer gear unboxing video, but the thing about Logitech software is that effing sucks, dude. Do not trust Logitech software. The hardware is really good. The camera, really good. Software, literal garbage. Anyway, so I lost all the footage. It wasn't recording. I thought it was. Like I've already unboxed everything. I mean, just look. Clearly I've unboxed it. The whole video is pointless. Why are you even here? I don't know. Why am I here? Oh, of course. And thank you, Razer, for sending me the Destiny 2 gear. Full disclosure, I'm not being paid to talk about the Destiny 2 Razer gear, but they did say we'll send it to you if you make a video. YouTube's dead. My channel's dead. I just figured let's go all out. 100% sellout mode. Now that we are selling out, this video is 100% powered by a Razer. I actually am thanking them because they sent me like a $3,000 PC a couple of months ago in time for the Destiny 2 launch. So Razer, I actually really appreciate that. Thank you. And also, apologies in advance, because I'm definitely going to talk negatively about some of this stuff. So anyway, I'm looking forward to losing my Razer sponsorship. All right, first, <laughs> first item is this Razer Goliathus mouse pad. So that's pretty cool. Second item is the Razer Death Adder Elite. Next is the headset, which is, I think, based off the Kraken headset. But here's the thing. I don't have the footage, so I can't prove that this came broken, but I assure you. You hear that? There's just no way that this headset is additionally uh, Maraca. If it is, raise up. Well played, genius. I never would have thought of that, but I'm pretty sure it's broken. Okay, last but not least is the keyboard. Is this in frame? I don't know. This is my first time doing YouTube. In traditional Razer form, everything looks sexy AF. All right, so that's the gear. Let me switch cams here so I can show you the stuff. And this video feels way too low effort. So let me actually use the gear and then let you know. How does that sound? You like that? You like that? I thought you would. Okay, welcome to the super wide cam. It's all happening right now. Just quickly straight off the bat, I'm not a Razer fanboy by any means. I'm a realist, and if it's good, I like it. If it's bad, I don't like it. Starting with the mouse pad, the Goliathus. Straight off the bat, I like it. I used my very own Goliathus for about 2,000 hours. You can see this one is just worn with age. That one definitely withstood the test of time for me. Okay, moving on to the mouse itself. This is my Razer Mamba TE. This is my Razer Death Adder 2013, and then this is obviously the D2 Razer Death Adder. I used a bunch of Logitech mice before I moved on to that Death Adder back in 2013. And I used it for probably the same 2000 hours on Team Fortress 2 on PC as the Goliathus mouse pad. I just recently acquired this from Razer when they sent me the PC. It's the Razer Mamba and it's pretty good, but for some reason I just prefer the feel of the Death Adder. It's just the perfect mouse to me. So this undoubtedly will become my new full-time gaming mouse. All right, moving on to the keyboard. So I recently was also using the Deathstalker V2, which I'm going to actually put on the desk now for comparison. Okay, so both of these keyboards have detachable magnetic wrist pads, which are both great. Now, I was using the Deathstalker, but here's why I hate it. It's the loudest keyboard ever to exist. It is so loud. These mechanical switches, I think that's the default green switches, are just so outrageously loud. I'm kind of annoyingly fussy in that I don't like full-size keys. So the keyboard that I actually use is right here, and you can see it has super low-profile flat keys, as opposed to the whatever keys, whatever they're called. I don't, I don't know things. I'm just a guy. So what I like about this Ornate Chroma keyboard is that the keys are flatter. Somehow... Somehow they're clickier. Like it's, I guess it's it's kind of the same amount of noise in before all the hair comments, by the way. I get it. Thank you. I'm ultra hairy. It's not a big deal. I'm from Australia. There's, somehow the keys are way more tactile because they're lower profile and they've got a way more distinct click to it. And I like it. If you don't have any noise restrictions, like you're not trying to record for YouTube or Twitch, then the keyboard's fine. If you like the feeling of mechanical switches, I think you'll like the keyboard. Okay, so finally the headset. The sound quality is good. Don't get me wrong. I listened to it for quite a bit. The sound quality is essentially the same as my main headset, the Astro A40 TRs. But these just don't feel good to wear. Like they put kind of a weird pressure on my head and I don't think I have an overly large head. I don't know. They just don't feel good to wear. The leather of the cup makes me like sweaty. So they just become uncomfortable really quickly. And also the round design just doesn't complement my head, I guess. The headset has uh, a retractable microphone. So all in 
and all, not a fan of the headset. Razer, I'm sorry, please don't hate me forever, but it just kind of feels cheap, this headset. Like I said, it could be because mine came broken, but it just feels super light and flimsy. But uh, mouse is really good, mouse pad's really good, keyboard, pretty good, if you like that kind of thing. And that concludes my super unprofessional tech review. Thanks for being so patient. Sorry if I triggered you. I know I triggered myself. And thank you again to Razer for supporting your boy. Sorry, I didn't like the headset. And finally, a huge thank you to the life-saving patrons on screen now. I can't believe there are still so many of you. Guys, it's too much. I cannot emotionally handle the support that you laid down for me. In saying that, September is going to be the last month for the Patreon. Just because I'm having a bit of trouble keeping up with the rewards and I want to be able to spend time as Destiny 2 comes out, backtracking and trying to catch up with all those rewards for the last few months. And also considering YouTube has picked up a little bit, I just don't feel right keeping the Patreon if I don't absolutely need it. You know what I'm saying? It just wasn't made in that spirit. I'm not trying to just get a bunch of money. I needed help and now I don't need help as much. So it just makes sense to shut it down. So next month is the last month. Guys, I'm the Jazz. God bless you. Super cute. I'm out, dude.